Ahoy, me and my madness again. So just for the test, I replaced the motor with the bigger motor. Just made a flange quickly, just for the, just for the test. Uh, uh, got the graphic interface loaded and and checked, and it's pretty much the standard PAD settings. And as I said, I will make it work, and it works, and it works brilliantly. Just give it a second. Ta da! Stood up like, um, <clears throat> well, you know what, never mind. As I said, uh, the pitch motor was way, way too weak to cope with the disbalance. And with this bigger motor getting up, getting up in no time, so there's no problem, no problem coping with torque. Stock PAD settings, the power of the motor is only, it's only at the 100 and works lovely this way that way this way that way what i like that some of the gimbals when the when the motors are a little bit too weak or the calibration is a bit off like when the copter is yawing you're basically losing you're basically losing losing your angles with this one bloody nothing nothing i can shake it whichever way whichever way i want it doesn't lose the angle it doesn't lose the angle rock solid brilliant so whether it's win or fail f depends on which way which way you're gonna look at like i was hoping with the smaller motor to reduce the size so i can reduce the size of a copter so on that matter is a is of course a fail as a as a concept as a project it is a win but she if he if i will want a bigger motor like it will add more weight than than a little bit extra of the boom to make a to make a copter bigger so what's left it's power up and have a have a little test and there's my skateboard but there'll be no skateboard test anymore the last time i got the chip bone in me elbow and diagnosis from the doctor was I was too old for skateboarding so what I will do I will stick on this one on the crawler just to see from the outside point of view see the articulation and have a mooch a little round okay let's go get some testing done <laughs> 